The Central African Republic is located in the heart of Africa. It has the same size as France, but a population of only 4.6 million. The country has significant mineral and other resources. In 2012, the Central African Republic was the scene of a civil war, which the Tuadera government worked hard to solve with the help of the international community and which led to the peace agreement of Khartoum of 6 February 2019. The country's population needs help. One out of four families live from artisanal diamond mining. There are three types of artisans in the field. Occasional, seasonal and professional artisans. However, today 90% of the country's rough diamond production is being smuggled out. In line of today's best practice principles, the country needs procedures to trace purchases to the first point of extraction. Alluvial mining is organized through so-called chantiers. That means 10 to 15 miners working under the supervision of one artisan. The artisan finances and provides the miners with the tools selling extracted diamonds to what is called collectors. Collectors are intermediaries acting between artisans and diamond buying houses. At the same time, the Central African Republic needs Kimberley process protocols to assure all mine diamonds are conflict free. Every single purchase is recorded on a so-called bordereau d'achat and every miner or ouvrier needs to be registered with a carte d'identité. This starts in the provinces where a fiche de transfert de diamant brut is issued each time diamonds are transferred to the national airport. This fish indicates origin, destination, date, serial number, total carats and also individually each diamond above 5 carats. Parcels are then sealed and the bag is handed to agents of the Brigade Minière. The buying house then brings the sealed parcels in front of a panel of six backdoor evaluators. Afterwards, a procès verbal de réception de diamant brut is released. Then pictures are taken for analysis by the working group of diamond experts. Afterwards, the diamonds are packed and sealed with red wax. Then there is the final Kimberley process clearance in seven days. This timing is very important, not to have investors' capital blocked. Obviously, this strict adherence to KP protocols is essential. But the country also needs diamond production to return to the formal market. A comparison with the past teaches us that while in 2012 the total production was about $62 million, in 2018 only 2.3 million dollar was reached. In 2017, after the partial lifting of the embargo, things went well for a while and 113,000 carats were exported. In 2018, again, that fell to almost nothing, just 12,000 carats. This is 3% of 2012. Going forward, 
the Central African Republic's government will stand for a bold, new and drastic approach, where full transparency, traceability of individual parcels and OECD due diligence guidance will be crucial. All existing bureau d'achats can participate into demonstrating their capability to formalize exports and to withdraw from any engagement in the informal circuit. Above all, there will be an obligation for each buying house to export at least $3 million per quarter. And a withdrawal of the license will follow in case of failure of the minimum amount of exports. Also, tax revenues of the state need a restart. In 2018, hardly any reasonable tax income was reached. 150,616 US dollar only. The equivalent of the salary of a senior United Nations representative working in the country, of which there are thousands. So the total exportation tax rate will be reduced to 4% to be competitive and in line with neighboring countries. Further, this will be accompanied with the reinforcement of the mining police and the local Kimberley process structures in place. The Central African Republic thanks the international community for the assistance it has received. In particular, the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme, where especially the work of the CAR monitoring team is applauded. The decision to shorten approval procedures to seven days was crucial in the context of the ongoing reform. The country also hopes to get a green light on broadening the compliance zones, as this will facilitate the fight against illicit traffic. It is the Central African Republic government's hope the reform process and in particular the peace agreement of Khartoum of 6 February 2019 will bring the first positive results already at the KP plenary in New Delhi and will lead to a new operational framework which will allow a normalization of the country's exports.